Hi, I'm Lou Salcedo. We're here in Santa Clarita, California at the Oak Tree Gun Club to test a new Caltech shotgun, the KSG. It's a 15 shot pump action 12 gauge shotgun. We're testing it for Police Magazine today. This unique shotgun is Caltech's attempt to get into the law enforcement market. It's very similar to their RFB designed rifle uh, with the exception that instead of ejecting forward, this ejects down uh, from the loading, unloading port, and ejection port. With over 34 years of law enforcement work, uh, I've had the opportunity to fire many police shotguns, semi-auto pump shotguns of all different types. Uh, this shotgun is totally unique and could revolutionize law enforcement work as I know it. To carry 15 shots fully loaded, ready to go, uh, be able to select even uh, between buck and slug uh, over traditional shotguns. There's nothing like this out on the market today. First impressions when you see this shotgun is that it looks like something out of a sci-fi movie or a video game because of its unique design. The KSG weighs in at 6.9 pounds and is as compact as legally possible with an overall length of 26.1 inches in comparison to most duty type standard police shotguns of 38 inches. With its compact size, Caltech may have solved the difficulty of tactically maneuvering in and out of a typical police vehicle. The construction of the KSG is primarily steel and polymer. You'll also notice that all the fasteners that hold the weapon system together are recessed, so it should hold up to daily law enforcement use. Caltech obviously put a lot of thought in their design and incorporated a lot of the features that most law enforcement officers would like to have. They've incorporated a rail system on top of the barrel and they've also incorporated a rail system built into the slide handle on the bottom. The recoil pad is hard rubber material that should hold up well to frequent use. However, the recoil pad's toe tends to dig in to your shoulder during shooting without a tack vest. The KSG is lighter than most police shotguns by half a pound. Doesn't seem like much until you're on a fixed post holding this shotgun for 10 hours. Or uh, if you're doing a day of training at the range and at the end of the day, that half a pound can make a big difference. The twin magazine tubes that feed the firing chamber have small slots or holes cut into the top of the tubes to provide a visual check of your shot shells. Once loaded up, I can see brass in each of those slot holes, which is a good indicator if you're running low and need to switch over to the other tube. We're going to talk a little bit about loading, unloading, chamber checking, and downloading the KSG shotgun. First, we're going to make sure the weapon is on safe. I've opened the action all the way. I'm going to invert the shotgun up or elevate the shotgun up so I can look into the firing chamber. I can do a visual and physical check. I can ensure that both magazine tubes are empty simply by looking in there. I'm going to grab a hold of the pistol grip and close the action. Caltech recommends with the KSG that you invert it so you have easy access to the loading and, and unloading chamber. Uh, be very, very careful and muzzle conscious with this shotgun because it is very compact and make sure that you're not covering something that you don't intend to shoot. I'm going to revert, convert the shotgun over so it gives me access to the loading and unloading port. Uh, what I've done is I've switched this lever over which is going to allow me to access the right uh, magazine tube. I'll drop around into the, the loading area, lock it in place. I'll switch that little lever over so I can have access to the left loading tube. Drop around into the loading chamber. And now both tubes have one round each. I'm gonna invert the shotgun back up, come up to a high port arms, hit the action release, which is in just in front of the trigger guard to chamber around. Now what I'm gonna do is verify that I did in fact chamber around, release the action slightly. I'm gonna bring the shotgun up, invert it over. I can look in, see the brass, close the action again. If I want to get it back to uh, patrol ready type condition where the firing chamber is, is empty, I'm going to invert the shotgun over, make sure that my select lever is in the center, bring it up, hold it in the high port arms, bring the action back slightly, use my primary hand to cup over the ejection port, bring the action all the way open, capture that round, close the action, and if I need to, I can load this back into one of the magazine tubes. 
that's how easy it is to do a loading and unloading of the KSG shotgun as well as a chamber check and a downloading process.